Hello dear community, my name is Arya Aper and I feel incredibly honored to start this project for the Asian American Writers Workshop. I hope you're all um, sheltering in place and are staying healthy and safe. I'm sheltering in my apartment in Oakland at the moment and um, I feel very privileged to have an apartment and to have a job that sustains me throughout this crisis. Uh, I know not everybody has that so please be uh, kind to each other and um, donate to your local mutual aid funds and offer help in your community in whatever way you can. Um, there is one organization that I would like to promote today. It's called Visions for Children, and um, they're doing incredible work uh, all year round in Afghanistan and in Kenya, um, and they're building schools and helping the education system. And it's a brilliant charity organization. Um, and at the moment, they also offer COVID-19 relief packages for families in Afghanistan who are incredibly vulnerable and have no safety net and no health insurance. So it's really important work. And um, if you can, please help. Otherwise, uh, share it on social media um, and spread the message. I know it is hard to turn to literature or art um, in this time. Uh, I try to read one poem a day to center myself. It doesn't always work, but sometimes it does, and it feels good when it does. There is a poem that I've been returning to over and over again over the last a few months, but especially the last few weeks since um, we're in quarantine. And it's called Beauty, and it's written by Solma Sharif. Uh, I will share it with you now. Beauty by Solma Sharif. Frugal musicality is how Kristeva described depression's speech. Cleaning out the sink drain, the melted cheese, the soggy muesli. My life can pass like this, waiting for beauty. Tomorrow, I say, a life is a thing you have to start. The fridge is a thing with weak magnets, a little sweaty on the inside. A bag of shriveled lime, arugula frozen, then thawed, then frozen again, still sealed. I haven't touched anyone in a year. You asked for beauty and one morning a small blue eggshell on the stoop shattered open, its contents gone, likely eaten. M asked if I've ever made a choice to live and why. I lied the way you lie to the suicidal. A few times I said, not most days, most mornings. No, not morning. Morning, I am still new, still possible. I'm still possibly, usually by three. When grandmother died, she hadn't been called beautiful in at least half a century, is never described as such. Her fallen stockings, the way she spit, thwack of the meat cleaver, the little bones she sucked clean and piled on her plate, not really looking at anyone, and certainly not me. Please stay safe, everyone. Thank you.